Hello and welcome to yet another lecture of basic electrical engineering. Myself Koti Tora, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudip Chaito Shudip Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So till now we have learned about the generation of AC and about the frequency and conception of the cycles per second, time period and the mathematical representation how we can say this graph is AC or not. Means the area under the graph for a particular time period is zero that is called the AC. Now we have also run the calculation of the average value, RMS value, and along with the form factor and the peak value. So today we will do or we will learn about the phasal diagram. So what is the phasal and the phasal representation of a system? The R circuit, resistance circuit, the positive circuit, the C, and the inductive circuit. How the phasal is will be represented for those particular circuits. So let us take what do you mean by the phasor. So phasor is known as the, it is generally a vector. It is called the phasor is basically a rotating vector. A vector which is rotating vector means, the vector means the quantity that have a magnitude and along with the direction. If the direction is started rotating, then it, is, it will form a phasor. A scale line whose length have a length and along with the direction. This is generally known as the phasor means this phenomenon is how to generate a sinusoidal waveform is generally known to us. Means the rotating phasor will enable to generate this sinusoidal waveform. So, phase, uh, so the phasor means the rotating value of the vector. Vector means the quantity that have a magnitude and a direction. And when it is started rotating, it will generally form a phasor. Means this vector, this value started rotating in that direction it will generate a sine curve so this is known as the phasor diagram and if the sine curve can be represented by am or im or vm the maximum value followed by sine omega t plus phi this phi is known as the phase difference it will denote us about the lead or lag conception depending upon the reference. We will say that this particular current or voltage is leading and lagging with respect to a phase difference, with respect to a quantity that is voltage or current. And this phi is generally known as phase difference. So we have learned what about the phasor. Phasor means the rotating value of the vector. When the vector starts rotating, it will form out. Phasor and the curve can be represented as with the help of the phase difference. Thus, phase difference will ensure us about the leading and the lagging conception. So, let's start with a simple R circuit, a resistive circuit. This is a resistive circuit, and let us an AC voltage is supplied to a resistive circuit. AC voltage is denoted as like that. So, say the voltage is V equal to Vm sine omega t. Vm sine of Omega T and this is a resistance say R and it will allow a current to flow through that circuit. So what is the value of current? Current will be V by R that is Vm sine omega T Vm by R sine omega T. So that is I m, the value of I is I m sine omega t. So in that both case that I have seen that the here it is voltage is Vm sine omega t and the 
voltage is Vm sin omega t. The consumption is sin omega t. And here it is the sin omega t. So there is no phase displacement. Means there is no sin omega t plus theta or sin omega t minus theta. That we have seen. That is the phase omega t plus theta or omega t minus theta. Means there is no phase displacement. So they are in the same phase. So let us draw the voltage for the magnitude of the Vm and the sin is and Im is different because Im is less compared to the Vm. So let us draw the Vm sin omega t. So if I take this is say our sin graph. And this is the voltage graph. This is the time period P. And this is the value of voltage and current. So it is a sign curve. So this is the Vm sine omega t. This is the voltage graph. This value is Vm. This is the voltage graph. Vm sine omega t. So the followed by the current. I equal to I m sine omega t and there is no phase displacement between them. That means I will be follow the same path but the value will be less compared to V m because it is divided V m is divided by the R in order to find the value of I. So this is the I equal to I m sine omega t. Okay. Writing this is I equal to I m sine omega t, and this is the voltage V equal to V m sine omega t. The difference is only the peak. Okay, so this is the R for the R sign. So let us, in order to do the vector representation, means the phasor representation, I am taking, this is our reference. I can take voltage as a reference, I can take current as a reference. Now I am taking voltage from starting from that. Vector means this is the magnitude. This portion is the magnitude. And this is the direction. Okay, so I am taking this is as a VR means the voltage across the resistance. VR that is Vm sine omega t. This is generally known as current through the resistance IR, and this is generally known as voltage in the resistance across the resistance that is VR. So I am taking VR. This is this length is the magnitude and this is the direction. So what will be the value of IR? IR must be the same phase with the VR, means there is no phase displacement. It will be the same phase with the VR, but the magnitude is with the same phase with the VR. The magnitude, say this up to that, the red one, the magnitude will be less. And this is known as the IR. The red one is known as the IR, and this is the, and the, Blue one is known as the VR, and this is the phasor representation of a resistive circuit. And I am taking again, I am telling that I am taking here voltage as a reference. So, with respect to reference, we have to say that this one is in uh, leading, or this one is leading. so I am taking voltage as a reference. Okay, there is a VR as a reference, or in other words, we are taking VR as a reference voltage. So this is the resistive sign. There is a representation of the sinusoidal waveform followed by the voltage waveform. And the voltage and current are in the same phase. If I take voltage as a reference, are in same phase same phase there is no phase displacement yes. the phase displacement phi is here zero there is no phase displacement in 
case of the resistive circuit. So let us take a capacitive circuit. So this is normally known as the resistive circuit and the phasor diagram is the rotation of the vector. So let us take capacitive circuit. So I am drawing a capacitive circuit as an AC wave from and there is a capacitor is there in the circuit. So this is the capacitor and this is V equal to V in sine T. The electrical quantities are the voltages and the current from for which we have to measure the value of that will allow a current to flow through the circuit I. See the current through the capacitor. So voltage across the capacitor VC will be Vm sin omega T. And current through the capacitor that is can be found that IC equal to we all know that the cap current can be represented as rate of change in charge TDT of Q. So in case of the capacitor that a parallel plane that we have learned that Q equals to C into V capacitor into capacitance into voltage. So we can write DDT of CD. So it is C into DDT of V. So that is C into DDT of V means Vm the voltage across the capacitor so VC is Vm sine omega t so it is known as C omega Vm C omega Vm of omega t. So this can be represented as IC that is omega equal to 2 pi f omega equal to 2 pi f that is angular frequency omega equal to red per second it is 2 pi into frequency f so, into C, cos omega t can be written as sine 90 degree sine omega t plus 90 degree sine 90 degree plus theta equal to cos theta. So, it is clearly seen that the current there is a phase difference that is coming to the play. There is a phase difference that is coming to the play. That one, that's 90 degree phase difference with respect to the voltage. It is sine omega t plus 90 degree, it is sine omega t. So it is clearly seen the current through the capacitor. If I take voltage as a reference, this plus 90 means it is leading by the voltage by an angle called 90 degree. So let's draw the, let's first draw the graph the voltage and the current representation. Now for the voltage, it is Vm sine omega t. It is the voltage across the capacitor, Vc. It is Vm sine omega t. Now let us draw a voltage across the, so this is the 90 degree, it is known to us. 90 degree this is 0 degree 
This is 180. Seventy degree. And this is three sixty degrees one to us. Now I am drawing the this is a minus ninety degree. So this part is the minus ninety degree. So, the capacitor that is when omega t when omega t equal to minus 90 degree okay when omega t equal to minus 90 degree the value of ic will be zero because sine is omega t equal to minus 90 degree then the total summation will be sine zero degree that will be sine 0 degree total this one will be because this is the omega t value what is the t value this is the angle omega t so it is clear that it is the voltage and the current and the capacitor in that direction so it is clearly suggested that magnitude will be small and also it will when it is angle is minus 90 degree the IC is zero means IC will start from here the IC will be start from here and it is zero degree it will be get the maximum value and again in the 90 degree it will be give them zero and again at the 180 degree it will be become the maximum again 270 degree it will become the zero and so on this is the graph for the ic and just clearly seeing that ic is reading the voltage by an angle 90 degree so it is clearly seen that ic is reading by an angle 90 degree yeah so if I draw the phasor diagram, I am again taking voltage as a reference. I am taking voltage as a reference. Voltage VC as a reference. So when I take voltage as a reference, so it is clear that this is the VC, magnitude and angle. Now current is leaving, leading by an angle 30 degree. Current is IC. That if I take voltage as a reference, if I take voltage as a reference again, I am saying the leading and lagging with respect to the reference. This voltage as a reference, this is in the IC, will lead the voltage by an angle 90 degree. So, means how to draw the leading. Leading will be the rotation of the vector of the IC will be in the anti clockwise direction. So, how I just extrapolate that particular curve. I just extrapolate that particular graph. Now, I am giving a 90 degree rotation in the anti clockwise direction. That is 90 degree rotation at the anti clockwise direction. That is 90 degree rotation at the anti clockwise direction. Anti clockwise direction rotation for the leading. Now, I am drawing that. I have drawn the 90 degree rotation at the anti clockwise direction. This is the 90 degree rotation at the anti clockwise direction for the leading. Leading means the rotation will be anti clockwise. First, we have to extrapolate the graph, that is, the extrapolation is done. Then I am writing that IC. 
the is a vector that you guys see so this is a vector representation of the this is the general vector representation of the circuit only capacity capacitance is there in the circuit so this is in that the current is leading by the voltage current through the capacitor that is ic is leading by the voltage by an angle 90 degree when i take voltage as a reference now i am going for a inductive circuit what an inductor is there in the circuit how the voltage and the current is leading Has taken current source in case of the inductor. So this is the inductor. There is a current called I equal to I dim sine omega t. That will allow a voltage to build through the inductor that is called VL. So, what is the value of IL that is current through the inductor? That is IM sine omega t and what is the value of voltage that is VL. So in case of the inductor, we all know that is phi that is generated equal to L into I. So the voltage that is built across the inductor that is DDT of phi, DDT of phi, that is L into DI DT, DI DT. So if I do that, so you will easily found the value of the voltage that is VL equal to uh, DDT of that is IM and that is IM and DDT means L into D phi DT that is VL equal to if I do it VL means that is L into VL means that is L into DI DT. That is L into DDT of sine omega t. That is uh, omega I m sine omega t. That is DDT of I m sine omega t means I m omega L cos omega t so what is the value of vl vl is 2 pi f into l into im cos omega t can be written as sine omega t plus 90 degree so it is seen that there is a conception of phase displacement that is 90 degree is occurring. So if I take the omega equal to 2 pi f, that is I have replaced into L. So into I m sine omega t. Now we will see that there is a phase displacement omega t plus 90 degree to expect to omega t. So means voltage is leading by an angle 90 degree means current is lagging by an angle 90 degree so if i draw the voltage profile that is omega t and that is the voltage of current that is vl or il so if i draw 
the current profile first, the high yield profile, that will be IM sine omega t. That is IL sine omega t, this one, the IL profile. This is the current through the induction. Zero degree. Ninety is known to us hundred and eighty two seventy and followed by three sixty. So when omega t equal to 0 degree, the Vm value of the Vl will be, when omega t equal to 0 degree, is sine 90 degree, so it is the maximum value. So it will be become sine 90 degree and the value will be become 1 sine 90 degree, so it is become the maximum value. So voltage source can be drawn as the maximum and when it is omega t equal to 90, it will be 0. Then followed by it will be maximum here and it will be zero here and it will be continuous. This is the voltage profile that is voltage is leading by an angle 90 degree means current is lagging by an angle 90 degree. So if I draw the phasor representation that is the voltage say I am taking voltage as a reference BL it is current is lagging the voltage first extrapolate that particular thing same way and lagging means the rotation will be 90 degree. The rotation will be 90 degree in the clockwise direction. It is called the lagging. If I take the voltage as a reference, the current through the inductor is lagging by an angle 90 degree. And it is done. That is the current through the inductor IL. So this is the phasor representation that is given. That is the voltage uh, and the car. There is a current through the inductor is lagging by an angle 90 degree. Lagging means first extrapolate it and then rotate in the direction of the in clockwise direction. And the voltage is leading by an angle. If I take the voltage as a reference, current is lagging. If I take the current as a reference, voltage is leading, depending upon the reference that we have taken. This is 90 degree. If I take again, I am telling that if I take voltage as a reference. is the main thing that is current that is lag by an angle 90 degree with red state to voltage lagging means the rotation in the clockwise direction 90 degree. so this is called the in circuit so today we have learned about the phasor representation it is the rotation of the vector will generally from a phasor and also we have seen the hard LC circuit along with the phasors and the conception of the leading la lagging and this conception will be applicable with respect to our reference if I take voltage reference or if I take current reference. Thank you.